teenage years because it was 1968, 69 by the time I started making uh, records of fingerstyle acoustic guitar but before that I played the electric guitar in sort of dances I was in beat groups and it wasn't uh, you know the, the heights of Las Vegas or Berlin or somewhere it was uh, Pontri Ven Digaid or Llanbedr Pont Stefan in the hills of West Wales of you know, playing to the, uh, the Fermur or Arhain Kevin Glad Cymru you'd be there on a Saturday night and the clientele would be on the French chalk dance floor sort of gliding past you on their backs but anyway, to keep saying, I was uh, I read books, of course, as you did, because books were the window to the world, and I was in this book club, the Jazz Book Club, nice. And so every month, I'd look forward to uh, the stories and the lives of Big Spider Beck, the old DJB, Louis Armstrong, Bessie Smith, Fats Waller. They all played ragtime. Uh, Leroy Jones's blues people and then one month this book arrived a book about Europe and written by Charles Delaunay about I think it was 1963 I got the book but it was written much earlier because it was on the life of his pal in the hot club de France in Paris there of Django Reinhardt now Django was a wonderful guitar player a wonderful musician great composer they heard music out there and luckily had one of these so we could hear what he heard he was a performer uh, he loved life and today sadly uh, his artistry and his and his works overshadowed a bit by this sort of gypsy jazz fad that seems to revolve in some kind of competition on the on the fretboard anyway I was playing these rhythms of course as soon as I hear the music of Django you got this new rhythm what's that it made a change from so let me play you one of uh, Django's great compositions Django's Castle. Mm -hmm. 